business covering the Carolinas. This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 6. And the nomination is confirmed. Charlotte's mayor has a new title with a 100 to 0 vote. Anthony Fox is now the next U.S. Transportation Secretary. The U.S. Senate moved quickly and confirmed his nomination today. Now Secretary Fox can shift his focus from the Queen City to the nation's capital. Eyewitness News reporter Jacqueline Fell is live outside what will be his new office in Washington, D.C. Anthony Fox will likely be sworn in early next week, right after the Senate confirmed him. The president sent out a statement welcoming Fox to his team. The eyes are 100, the nays are zero. Charlotte Mayor Anthony Fox easily won the Senate's approval, making him the next transportation secretary. His confirmation was unanimous. And the nomination is confirmed. I've worked closely with Mayor Fox during my time in Washington, and I have the utmost confidence that he will serve in this role with great distinction. I thank him for his dedication and willingness to step up when service is needed. Several transportation groups, Republicans and even the Senate Transportation Committee chairman, praised Fox. They spoke of his accomplishments in Charlotte, creating jobs, improving roads, helping build a light rail system, and expanding the Charlotte Douglas Airport. Charlotte Representative Robert Pittenger. Confident that he's the man for the job? I think uh, Anthony's a good man, and I think it's a big challenge for him, and I wish him the very best. The Republican congressman hopes Fox's new title will give the city an advantage. And Anthony can do something to help widen 77, 85, uh, you know, the outer belts, other roads in the region. I hope he can get some leadership in that regard. As Transportation Secretary, Fox would have to follow certain formulas to fund any projects across the nation. One of Fox's first tasks after being sworn in, handling budget cuts and the threat of another round of air traffic controller furloughs. Reporting live in Washington, Jacqueline Felt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.